and welcome to the Gradual Report. My name's Danny. Danas Serbian. Lexia Dva. Today we're going to focus on how to get into a fight with our mom and how to be more familiar with our friends. Ah, more familiar. Welcome to the Gradual Report, where we gradually report. <laughs> when saying hello to your friend, in a very familiar fashion, you can choose the words... Koi tie kurats. Koi tie kurats. Which roughly translated means, who has your penis? Now your friend, if he is your friend and generally familiar with you, he will respond with the phrase, Ebem de bog so by kurat. Which is more or less, I'm f***ing your god with my penis. Now this is just a friendly exchange between two people that know each other quite well. If, however, you were to greet your mom with this phrase, she would be very upset. This is the reality that we live in. Sometimes words were appropriate, sometimes they are offensive. Toye žalost. Jako žalosto. Now that we've got the hellos, let's see if we can work on some goodbyes. A friendly colloquial goodbye is as simple as saying ciao, kurats. Or if you have a female friend, ciao, pičku matrinu. However, when talking to your mother, just say ciao. Don't add those other parts because they're a level of familiarity that you just don't have with your mother. And again, She'll be mad at you for swearing. Remember, everything you learn here is not to be repeated in a church, because God will strike you dead. Good then, let's move on. You look like such a nice boy. Please don't swear. To which you might reply, Which roughly translate to, I want to, I want to, it's funny, and I want to be funny. Again, when in doubt, end the sentence with, Why? Because it's hilarious. Let's say, however, that you find yourself in an actual situation with actual Serbian people all around you. You may not want to say, Although they will get a good chuckle out of it and probably pat you on the back and buy you a beer, they might get offended as well, especially if they're religious type. Although I have yet to meet a Serbian that doesn't laugh at the words Upichkumatrinu. Because it's so funny. <laughs> it's absurd, especially when girls say it. Ah. Ah. But if you should find yourself in a group of, say, Seventh-day Adventists in the middle of Belgrade, exchange the word Upichkumatrinu with Bre. 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 Because bre means man, and it's like saying, yo, man, hey, bre. See, I can't even, I can't even not say it. I say the word man, and then I say the word mother. Why am I broken? Zaslason, pokvaran. Well, this lesson plan kind of got away from itself. Join us tomorrow, where we explore something else. Volim te jako puno. Very sad. Very sad. Toy Jalost. Jako Jalosto.